Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Uh, the thing I want to talk to about being home. All right. Praise right. 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 To be humble means uh, having or showing a modest or low estimate, um, estimate of one's own importance. So basically, that's saying, you know, that you uh, pretty much put people before you and you're not worried about, you know, being on top of the headline. Um, if you can turn with me to 1 Peter 5 and 6. Amen. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Amen. Well, that's basically saying, you know, be humble and just sit back and relax. And in due time, God is going to, you know, bless you and exalt you. Amen. And uh, if you can turn me also to James 4 and 6. <coughs> but he giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, God resists the proud, but give grace unto the humble. Amen. Amen. Um, a lot of people are proud, uh, but humble people, you know, they are pretty much, they're not afraid to ask for help if they need help. Come on, man. Um, Amen. Another thing, um, some people think that humble people are weak because they don't say nothing, they just sit back and be quiet, but that's not true. Uh, humble people receive God's grace. Amen. Amen. A humble person is a is also a happy person. Yes, they are. Amen. They take joy in life mm -hmm. and what God has called them to do, Amen. and don't care what anybody thinks or says about them. Amen. Amen. Humble people wait on God when they have been done wrong mm -hmm. by other people. They wait on God to fight their battle uh -huh. and vindicate them. Yes. yes Jesus. Hallelujah. Also, a humble person knows when to be quiet and is comfortable letting someone else have the center of attention. That's right. Uh, they, like, they don't mind being in the background, a humble person. Uh -huh. um, in the Bible, a very humble person was David. Everybody knows David, you know, beat Goliath. Uh -huh. And, you know, David was a mighty warrior. Yes. And even with uh, Saul, Saul pretty much didn't like David and wanted to kill David. But David was humble, and when Saul, would, when his spirits would act up, they would actually play music to calm the spirits down. Come on. Now, you know, if somebody wants to kill one of us, we couldn't do that. Come on, man. I definitely, I definitely couldn't do it. You know, also another um, person in the Bible that was humble was Joseph. All right. Um, yeah. Joseph pretty much got sold into slavery by his brothers. Um, he got accused by, I guess you could say, the queen in Egypt. Uh, she wanted to sleep with him, and he didn't, and she accused them, and they put him in jail. And even though... Joseph went to jail, uh, he got favor from Pharaoh and pretty much ran Egypt. You know, by him being humble, sitting back, the Lord truly blessed him. Even when his brothers did him wrong, he saw his brothers again. And instead of, he probably could have got him killed because the position he had in Egypt. Right. Uh -huh. But instead, he showed them love and he Amen. showed them grace. Right. Um, even in the world, if you're into sports, you look at Kawhi Leonard. All right. Everybody know Kawhi Leonard is a great basketball player. He can pretty much run with the best of them. But he never screams, yells, he never cusses, he never shows out. He just does his work on the court. He's very humble. Uh -huh. So when you see someone who's done you wrong in the past, and you happen to see them, and maybe they're walking, or they not, they don't have a good car, and you know you got a nice car, Come you on. don't say that's what they get, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever they get you wrong. You don't you don't say, yeah, that's what they get for doing me wrong, because you let the Lord get your vengeance. All right. I always remember to be humble. Amen, amen, amen. amen.